following the directive of the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, GCFR, on the 16th of January 2014, for a change of guard to be effected at the very apex at the various arms of the armed forces, the Navy, Air Force, and the Army, under the leadership of a new Chief of Defense Staff. As members of a disciplined force that respect orders and directives from above, the handling and taking over activities had earlier taken place with the new helmsmen in the various services swapping positions with their predecessors in office. The ceremony, which took place at the Defence Headquarters Abuja, attended by friends, family members and former colleagues of the officers, was very colourful. The new service chiefs are the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Kenneth Jacob Tobia Minima. Born on the 27th of July 1959, he joined the Nigerian Defence Academy's 25th regular course. Until his new appointment, Lieutenant General Kenneth Jacob Tobia Minima was the commander of the Nigerian Army Infantry Corps, Jaji Kaduna. The new Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Usman Jabrin, born on September 16, 1959, joined the Navy as a member of the Nigerian Defense Academy 24 regular course. Until his appointment as Chief of Naval Staff, he was the Director of Training at the Defense Headquarters. The new Chief of Air Staff and immediate past commander of the Presidential Air Fleet, Air Vice Marshal Amusu, was born on the 1st of August 1958. He joined the Air Force as a member of the Nigerian Defense Academy's 25 regular course. Until his new appointment, Air Vice Marshal Amusu was the Air Officer Commanding Tactical Air Command, Makodi Pedro State. The new Chief of Defense Staff and former Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Alex Bade, born on January 10, 1957, joined the Air Force as a member of the 21 regular course of the Nigerian Defense Academy. The handing over and taking over activities came to a glorious crescendo with the outgoing and incoming Chiefs of Defense Staff changing buttons. Vice Admiral O.S.C. Brands and Air Marshal Bade to please exchange this flag. This is the moment we have been waiting for. In his remarks, Admiral O.S. Ibrahim, CFR, Nigeria's 14th Chief of Defense Staff, thanks officers and men of the armed forces especially those of the top hierarchy, around whom he said the future of the armed forces devolves, for the unalloyed dedication and commitment that made him succeed during his tenure as both the Chief of Naval Staff and the Chief of Defense Staff. Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim said that with Air Chief Marshal Alex Bade taking over the mantle of leadership from him, he was sure that the armed forces would continue to discharge their function with honor, integrity, and steadfastness, helping the country's democracy to grow. Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim enjoined the officers and men to extend the cooperation he enjoyed from them during his tenure to the new Chief of Defense Staff. Let me here quickly pray that the cooperation I enjoyed from outgoing service chiefs, they are not here, be extended by this group of service chiefs to my successor, Chief Marshal Alex Badi. Remember the duty the armed forces of this Federal Republic of Nigeria owe to the President and Commander in Chief, President Gulok Ibele Jonathan. The duty you are going to discharge will be discharged with honor, integrity, and irreproachable goodwill. No leader can rise above the collective intellect of the group. They are the source of your strength. They are the one. At the end of the day, the aggregate level of your performance and assessment will be the collective intellect. In his own remarks, Air Chief Marshal Badi said that the situation in the country demands unity of efforts, which can only be achieved if all the arms pull their capabilities together to bring the security situation in the northeast of Nigeria under control. 
for me. I see my appointment as both an honor and an opportunity to contribute further to the stability of our dear country, Nigeria. Let me emphasize here that the situation we are in today requires unity of effort and we all know that unity of command is the preferred doctrinal method of uh, achieving unity of effect of effort by military forces. Gentlemen, when a nation is threatened, its army does not go to war, nor its navy, nor the air force. The nation itself goes to war using all its services capabilities in the, in the combination that best suits the uh, the peculiar or particular threat and the war plan designed to defeat the enemy. In the opinion of the chief hosts and chief of defense staff, Air Chief Marshal Alex Bade, having served his fatherland with full honor and integrity, Admiral Ola Said Ibrahim, one of the brightest minds of the Nigerian Armed Forces, who had the rare privilege of serving as Chief of Naval Staff and Chief of Defense Staff of the Armed Forces of Nigeria, a well-merited crowning glory of his 35 years meritorious service to his fatherland has earned his snipes and richly deserving of being properly celebrated. Born on the 15th of June 1955, a graduate of the Nigerian Defense Academy Kaduna and the Armed Forces Command and Staff College Jaji Kaduna, Admiral Olasad Ibrahim was trained at the Royal and Indian Navies. He has a Bachelor of Law degree from the Amodobelo University Zaria. Admiral Ola Said Ibrahim attended the College of Defense Studies United Kingdom in 2002, where he obtained a master's degree from the Department of War Studies and Public Policy at the King's College University London. Admiral Ola Said Ibrahim has been proudly decorated with Command of Sea Badge for successfully commanding various naval ships. He was a directing staff and chief instructor of the Department of Maritime Warfare Armed Forces Command and Staff College Jaji Kaduna. Admiral Ola Said Ibrahim was the secretary to the chief of naval staff before being appointed to command the naval operations base Nigeria naval ship Beecroft in 2001. He served as Commander, Naval Task Group, Operation Harmony in the Eastern Naval Command, Calabar, across the state, before his appointment as the Directing Staff at the National Defense College. He returned to the Defense Headquarters as Chief of Administration and later Chief of Training and Operations in February 2009. Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim was appointed Flag Officer Commanding Western Naval Command before his elevation as the Chief of Naval Staff on September 8, 2010. Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim rose to the pinnacle of his career when he was elevated to the position of Chief of Defense Staff on the 4th of October, 2012. He has been decorated with the Distinguished Service Star, DSS, and the Golden Jubilee Medal. His hobbies include jogging, reading, photography, and dialectics. His wife, Hajja Aminad Modukwe Ibrahim, who served as the president of Noaram Nakoa, is the power behind the throne. A valedictory dinner was organized to send forth Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim at the ballroom of the Ladi Kwali Hall of the Sheraton Hotel and Towers Abuja, attended by top ranking officers and men of the armed forces retired and serving. Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim becomes the very first retiring chief of defense staff to be honored with a full valedictory dinner. According to the Chief of Defense Staff, Air Chief Marshal Bade, who is the chief host, traditionally, most military farewell ceremonies are marked with strictly regimented dinners, but to have the larger civilian society represented, to create a congenial civil military atmosphere, which such a dinner provides, inform the modification of the tradition. The valedictory dinner in honor of Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim had in attendance the permanent secretary of the Minister of Defense, Al Haji Aliyu Ismaila, who stood in for the supervising minister of the ministry, Mr. Labaran Marku. Also in attendance were service chiefs from the Navy, Army, Air Force, and the Chief of Defense Staff, as well as serving and retired high ranking military officers from all the services. The high caliber roll call at the dinner included 
those of Admiral Akin Atua, to whom Admiral Ola Ibrahim was AO or ADC in 1982, and Rear Admiral Taiwo Dedino, both of them mentors of Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim. There are also his course mates, members of the Course 17 of the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna. Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim's long standing friend and brother, Alaji Jani Ibrahim, led the people from his homestead in Ilon Ikwara State to solidarize with them. Also there was one of the illustrious daughters of Ilor Inquara State, Hajar Bola Shagaya. Cultural troops from Katsina, Benue, and the home place of the guest of honor Ilor Inquara State performed at the ceremony. <laughs> In his welcome remarks, the Chief of Defense Staff, Ev Chief Marshal Alex Bade, began by eulogizing the immediate past Chief of Defense Staff and Special Guest of Honor, Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim, with his engaging from service with his head high up, having left behind very exemplary standards in all the military commands he superintended over in the last 35 years of his service. These he asserted should challenge others coming behind to do even more. Air Chief Marshal Alex Bade charged members of the armed forces to close ranks and put hands on deck with unity of efforts to deal a final blow on the security problems that had beset the northeast of Nigeria for some time now, so that the federal government can fully concentrate on its transformation program. He commended the wife of the outgoing admiral, Hajja Aminat Mudukba Ibrahim, for her uncommon steadfastness and abiding faith in keeping the home front intact while her husband faced squarely his very demanding task of defending the nation's territorial integrity. A vivid account of Admiral Ibrahim's life as an officer revealed that he was a firebrand when he was a young officer up to the rank of Commodore. However, as he grew in rank and was saddled with more challenging responsibilities, he developed more patience, which is a very crucial quality of leadership. The level of patience exhibited by Admiral Ibrahim in the discharge of his responsibilities at CDS was exemplary. Despite the security issues in the nation and other challenges, challenges that he had to contend with in the discharge of his duties at CDS, Admiral Ibrahim remained focused and unfazed. Let me use this opportunity to assure our retiring CDS that the armed forces of Nigeria will not only sustain this legacy, but we shall also be leaning heavily on his immense knowledge and experience to try the way forward. The farewell toast was given by former Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral Akintide Adua retired, who spoke glowingly of the special guest of honor, whom he said is one of the most brilliant and level-headed crop of officers Nigeria has endowed with. Admiral Akiadua thanked God for having found him worthy of influencing the career of the special guest of honor. He then proposed the toast. I have honor to propose the toast of a one time, my one time flag lieutenant, who became, as I said to him in London, my own boss. Please rise with me to propose the toast to the good health, continued success, and continued patriotism in this young man and his lovely 
queen and your family. To the glory of God, may God bless you and be with you wherever you go. Amen. From now on. Amen. Cheers. Cheers. This was followed by a flurry of special presentations to the Department Chief of Defense Staff, beginning with the Chief of Defense Staff, all the service chiefs, and a long lineup of other departments of the three arms of the armed forces. In his response to the toasts and torrents of accolades poured on him, Admiral Alassad Ibrahim, who had meticulously studied the audience he was to address, which enabled him to deliver the appropriate message they will readily assimilate went to town waxing philosophical. He asked the armed forces to be in the vanguard of helping the country's democracy grow. Admiral Olasad Ibrahim reminded everyone that these are indeed challenging times for the armed forces of Nigeria. He hoped that the armed forces would use the experiences garnered from the handling of the security situation in the northeast of Nigeria to quickly surmount the remaining hurdle which the insurgents pose in some parts of the country. Admiral Olasad Ibrahim again sounded it loud and clear that no unit has a monopoly of knowledge about the problem. Therefore, he advised them to work in unity of effort. Admiral Olasad Ibrahim thanked his dear wife, Hajja Aminat Modupe Ibrahim, and his children for their total support for him during his 35 years tenure in the military. I am satisfied that I ran a good race in the service of my fatherland. From my career up to the time I was appointed the 14th Chief of Defense Staff by the President and Commander in Chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces, Dr. Gulok Ebeli Jonathan, GCFR, I've always believed that leadership is all about people organization and the environment. It involves the demonstration of the values of courage, knowledge, wisdom, patience, compassion, understanding, integrity, discipline, ambition driven by ideas and an objective mind. However inconsequential these fundamentals may appear, they need to be nurtured. They need to be invited. It is my own belief that good leadership at all levels is the pillar upon which our collective aspiration rests. I believe strongly that the present leadership of the armed forces has what it takes to take the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to the next level. Alex in particular, and the service chiefs, please, I urge you, remain focused, remain resolved, lead well. The word of thanks was delivered by the chairman of the organizing committee of the valedictory dinner for Admiral Olasad Ibrahim. The event formally ended with Admiral Olasad Ibrahim conducting the Brigade of God Band as they displayed to the admiration of the dignitaries. Friday the 7th of February 2014 was the appointed day for the grand finale of all the activities put together to be the final farewell to Admiral Olasad Ibrahim, the immediate past Chief of Defense Staff of Nigeria. Mogadishu Barracks Abuja, vein of the pulling up parade for the former CDS Admiral Olasad Ibrahim, had the elements totally in support of the program as everywhere looked bright and sprightly. This is complemented by officers and men from the different services decked out in their very colorful ceremonial dresses. In attendance at the high auction events were Nigeria's former Chief of Army and Defense Staff, General Martin Luther Aguai, who is Chairman of Shopee, 
former Chief of Defense Staff Admiral Ibrahim Ogohi, Air Chief Marshal Olushe Kwechino retired, who is also a former Chief of Defense Staff. They were joined by Haji Abola Shagaya, the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Defense, Al Haji Ali Usmaila, who stood in for the Supervising Minister of the Ministry. The service chiefs of the Navy, Army, and the Air Force were led by Air Chief Marshal Alex Bade, the nation's Chief of Defense Staff. They were supported by their spouses. Members of the National Assembly from both chambers also supported the event. The special guest of honor, Admiral Olasad Ibrahim, was also supported by his wife, Hajja Amina Modupe Ibrahim, their children, and other family members. On his arrival at the parade ground, Admiral Olasad Ibrahim mounted the podium to review the parade, which is followed by the march past by the officers and men from the Navy, Army, and Air Force. It was indeed an auspicious occasion to behold the spectacle and beauty of the Nigerian Armed Forces, rated as the most populous and sophisticated force in Black Africa. In his validatory speech, the former Chief of Defense Staff, Admiral Olasad Ibrahim, who was appointed to that position on the 4th of October 2012, thanked God for making it possible for him to retire in good health. He emphasized that a unity of purpose is required to successfully tackle the security problem in the country. This, according to him, is because no single unit or arm can do it alone. Admiral Allah Saad Ibrahim said no attempt should be made by the military to undermine democracy. Admiral Allah Saad Ibrahim thanked all those who God has used to mold him into what he is today. He expressed his readiness to still serve his fatherland in any capacity if called upon to do so. I stand here before you today with every sense of humility and profound gratitude to Almighty God for all His goodness and mercy and for making today's event possible. To this end, I remain eternally grateful to the President, His Excellency, Dr. Goodnock, a brilliant director, this year back, who in his wisdom considered me worthy of this honorous task. I thank him for his confidence because in me at, at the time our dear country was beset with the mirage of security challenges. So far we have made substantial progress in the fight against terror. Incidences of that kidnapping, armed robbery, and other violent crimes in the southern parts of the country have reduced drastically just as the plateau is enjoying relative peace. I wish to express my sincere appreciation to all those without whose support and encouragement I would not have achieved the much I did in the course of my career, especially as the Chief of the Defense Staff. The very colorful program ended with the pulling out of Admiral Olasad Ibrahim from the Nigerian Armed Forces. Officers from the rank of Major General in the Army, Rear Admiral in the Navy, and Air Vice Marshal in the Air Force joined in the very colorful pulling out parade of Admiral Olasad Ibrahim. Admiral Olasad Ibrahim, his wife, Hajja Amina Mudukwa Ibrahim, acknowledged chairs all the way from their admirers as well as family members. <laughs> We join the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Goodluck Jonathan, the Chief of Defense Staff, the Service Chiefs, the entire military, and indeed all Nigerians to wish Admiral Ola Saad Ibrahim fair wins as the soldiers are on in life. Congratulations, sir.